Good morning children. Welcome back to your science class. Today we are going to start new block. Block 9. Bones, Joints and Muscles. See children. This is one cloth. This cloth can stand straight children. No, it cannot stand straight. How can we make it stand straight? Yes, we have to take one pencil, pen or some stick to make it stand straight. Isn't it? It cannot stand straight. Like that way only our body also. Our body also have something inside it that make our body to stand straight. Can you say what is that? Yes, it is bones. Bones are there inside our body. That bones only making us to stand straight. Without bones, our body cannot stand straight. So first we can discuss about bones. Okay. Our body is made up of 206 bones. So how many bones are there in our body? 206 bones are there. All these bones together make a framework. Framework of bones. That is called skeleton. What is skeleton? Yes, all the bones together make a framework. Okay, so that means the framework of bones are called skeleton. Have you ever seen skeleton children? Yes, this is the picture of skeleton. Everybody watch it carefully. Okay, so what is skeleton? Skeleton means it is the framework of bones. So I already told our body is made up of 206 bones. All these 206 bones together make a framework of bones. That is called skeleton. Okay. Then this skeleton is divided into three parts. There are three parts are there for skeleton. So first part it is skull. This is skull. See the picture. Yes, this is skull. Okay, then second part it is rib cage. Second part it is rib cage. Okay, so this is the rib cage. Then third part it is backbone. Third part it is backbone. Okay, so skeleton is divided into three parts. Skull, rib cage and backbone. Okay, next we can discuss the function of skeleton or what is the work of skeleton. So, one of the most important function of skeleton is skeleton protect the internal organs. So, how it protect the internal organs? I already told skeleton is divided into three parts. Isn't it? So, first part it is skull. So, inside the skull some internal organs are protected. Skull means uh, here only skull. Isn't it? Inside our head there is skull. Okay, so inside our skull, our brain is protected. Okay, so which internal organ is protected inside the skull? Brain. So, uh, skull protect our internal organ that is brain. Okay, in, uh, brain is protected inside the skull. That is why only uh, uh, any uh, injuries are happening on the head, it will not affect our brain because skull, skull protect our head. Okay, so inside our skull there is brain okay so in uh, some internal organs are protected inside our uh, inside the skeleton okay then second one we told rib cage rib cage mm. so inside the rib cage two internal organs are protected which are they yes lungs and heart lungs and heart are protected inside the rib cage okay so here many bones are there together we can see that is uh, rib cage okay so what is protected inside the rib cage yes our lungs and heart is protected inside the rib cage so what is the main function of what is the main function of skeleton yes skeleton protect our internal organs okay so that is the one function it protect our internal organs okay then second one it gives shape to our body skeleton give shape to our body we know uh, inside our body there is bones bones are covered by muscles muscles are covered by skin okay that is why only our body is getting shape so skeleton give 
shape to our body. That is the second function of skeleton. Skeleton gives shape to our body. Okay. Next function of skeleton is it gives support to our body. It helps us to stand straight. There is no skeleton or bones then we cannot stand straight. Okay. So which gives support to our body? Yes, skeleton. Skeleton give support to our body. It helps us to stand straight. Okay, that is the next function of skeleton. Now we can discuss the fourth function. That means next function of skeleton is it give, it help our body to move. It help us to move. So we know um, bones uh, without bones, joints and muscles. Our body cannot be moved. Okay. So uh, these uh, bones are meeting each other. The part the bones meet that part we have uh, joints. Okay. So these joints and muscles. Muscles are the fleshy part of our body. So these bones, joints and muscles all together help our body to move. Okay. Next important function of skeleton is blood production. So blood Cells are produced in the bone marrow of some bones. So next important function of skeleton is blood production. So blood cells are produced in the bone marrow of some, some bones. This is the next important function of skeleton. So these are the some of the most important function of skeleton. So what is skeleton? The framework of bones are called skeleton. Skeleton, uh, how many bones are there in our body? Our body is made up of 206 bones. All these 206 bones together make the framework of bones. That framework of bones are called skeleton. Okay, skeleton divided into three parts. First part it is skull. Second part it is ribcage. Third part it is backbone. Okay, so first part it is Skull. skull is inside our head. When we touch our head, we feel hard. Why we feel hard, children? Yes, it is because of there is skull inside our head. So, some of the internal organs are protected inside the uh, skeleton. So, which internal organ is protected inside the skull? Yes, brain. Brain is protected inside the uh, inside our head you know so inside our head there is skull so brain is protected inside our skull okay then second part of skeleton it is rib cage so which are the internal organs are protected inside the rib cage yes the internal organs like lungs and heart is protected inside the rib cage okay then third one we discussed uh, third part it is backbone. Backbone only help our body to stand uh, straight. That means if anything happen to our backbone then our body cannot stand straight. Okay. So it give upright position to our body. Got it. Hmm? So whenever we are walking, sitting, standing, we should stand in, uh, we should sit in straight position. Okay. Hmm? So uh, our backbone help our body to stand straight, give position to our body. So these are the three part of skeleton. Next we discuss what are the functions of skeleton. So first function is it protect our internal organs. Second function we studied, it give support to our body. Then third function we studied, it give shape to our body. Then we studied, uh, it help our body to move. It help our body to move. Okay. Then we studied, it help to blood production. Blood cells are produced in the bone marrow of some bones. Okay. So these are the some functions of skeleton. This much only madam taking today. So everybody take your workbook now. Page number 5. Everybody take page number 5 and write date at first. Okay. So you can see the picture of skeleton here. Picture of skeleton here. And the skeleton is divided into three parts we studied. Skull, ribcage and skull, ribcage and backbone. These are the three part of um, skeleton we studied. So see the first question children. Why does our head feel hard? So everybody touch your head you can feel it is hard. Why it is feeling hard children? Yes there is skull inside our 
hurt so our head feel hard because there is skull inside our head that is the answer okay then second question is write functions of our skeleton which functions you feel easy that you can write so we studied many functions so which you feel very easy that only you can write it gives shape to our body it gives support to our body it protect our internal organs so you need to enough to write okay it gives shape to our body it gives support to our body that is feeling easy that you can write why do we feel something hard when we pat a dog on its back when we pat a dog on its back why we feel it hard that is the question yes why we feel it hard children yes there is back bone on their back side isn't it so that is why we feel it hard so why how can we write the answer there is back bone on its back that is why we feel it hard when we pat on a dog on its back okay so uh, how can we write there is a backbone on its back so uh, we feel it hard when we pat on a dog okay so this is the way you can write the answer now everybody take your textbook we have to write two practice questions also so practice question first one it is fill in the blanks there are dash bonds in our body how many bonds are there 206 bonds in our body second one b uh, the bonds are the dash parts of our body bonds are the hard part of our body hard part of our body second question is what is the skeleton what are its function so what is skeleton the framework of bones are called skeleton what are its function it gives shape to our body it gives support to our body it protect our internal organs then it help us to move it help to blood production so like that way you can write any three functions you have to write because three mark questions will come for exam so you have to write three functions so write any three functions that's enough children so this much only enough for today's class hope you all understood today today's class so we will meet in the next class okay bye